Hi, my friend, Pat Sloan here. I have got a couple things that are fun today, like celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. I mean, can you believe 70 years in your job? And what a job, holy cow, Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, there's doing a celebration over this weekend to mark uh, the, the, this amazing feat of, that she has had and her lovely reign. And so I wanna show you a couple things that I think are just excellent to celebrate the Queen. So first is my friends at Orifield did the Platinum Jubilee Collection. And there it is on the back. And what they wrote is the Platinum, the Platinum Jubilee Collection is Orifield's humble tribute to Queen Elizabeth. This year we contribute this year we celebrate her success and achievements through her 70 years of service. Her fierce nature, resilience, and compassion have set a strong example, inspiring a generation of new leaders. Uh, just beautiful threads. So let me show you these. They are just yummy. You are going to want them so much. So I'm just going to open the box here. I took the sleeve off. <gasps> Look at these. So the Jubilee is colors are the purple and the yellow. And we have uh, some beautiful gray, a white, and then this amazing variegated peach, peachy yellow. Let me just take that plastic off real quick so you can see it in all its beauty. The plastic is on there to keep everything fresh. Look at that. Ah. Oh. It is so beautiful. Also, I found this pattern called Jubilee. Look at that, isn't that the coolest thing? I love that block. Now I'm gonna have to make that block. Maybe make it into a pillow. I also found, which is not really the colors, but I found this fabric pack called Flower Pot Petite, which I think has some of the fabrics that were used in here. If you like those colors, I thought this was just the neatest, neatest fabric. You wanna take a look at that? This is, this is, this is a fun day. Look at all the fun stuff, you know? You just gotta have that. Ah, so it's got like this tans. Let's see, look, that is so pretty. Very fall looking, huh? There's a, there's a brown, beautiful brown. Oh, look at the dots, green and navy with some words and some more navy and this kind of uh i don't know not platinum but sort of a taupey brown taupey gray uh very cool fabric so i just had to show you that because i had it and it was the fabric very similar fabric if not some of the same fabric used in the jubilee pattern so you can get uh you can get this packet of thread which is just so beautiful oh, love it love it okay so today, the other thing is our Secret Lives of Color. So Secret Lives of Color, we have now shifted into the purple zone. So I don't know how many of you have lots of purple or don't have lots of purple. Maybe you're like me. I don't have lots of purple. So today I'm going to just sort through my purple and then I will make the block tonight and then show you the block tomorrow. So how the book is set up is that you first have a section, each section is a different color, and at the beginning of a new color, the author writes about that color, just in general about the color, and then lists all the ones that, that'll be talked about. And because this is a sort of short list, I pulled for the very end of the month, uh, one from the next section, which is blue. So one of the blue ones. So the first color is Tyrian Purple. Uh, which I have not heard of that color, but here I'm just going to read you the first sentence. One of the most notorious seductions in history took place in the late 48 BC uh, on August 9th. <laughs> How do they know that? That was a long time ago. It has to do with Julius Caesar and Cleopatra. And so apparently this color of purple became his toga color that nobody else could wear. So the story is fabulous. You will just have to read it. I want to show you my purple now. My purple, my purple. I am just, I am purple deficient. Really, seriously. This is it. This is it. There might be like a square or so in another, like, uh, like a layer cake. So I'm going to look through those that I have. Not sure I'll see anything. And I do have my purple from my Harmony. So I'm going to see if any of those work for this color. 
Tyrian purple is quite dark. So this is quite a dark purple. So for me, like these two, one of these might be it. Like, I'm not sure. Let me grab that again. Oop. Okay. So yeah, so there's, it's probably a little bit more reddish than this. Um, this is like a companion. It just has some more light. So I'll have to dig through here and see if I can find one that's a little bit more reddish than this one. And what I do is just get as close as possible. You know, I am not trying to get crazy with the colors. So there's some, oh, that's kind of neat. I wonder if that, look at that. That looks very royal, doesn't it? So Caesar would like that. Oh, I'm, I think that's it. I think I'm going to use that one. Okay. So this is the purple that I will go with for my first one in this uh, section. And I will make it up tonight and I will show you the block tomorrow. Okay. So keeping in the royalty, uh, one of the things I have been watching, I don't know if you uh, watch any YouTube of Lucy Worsley. Uh, she's a art historian, but she's doing a series called... Uh, fit to rule and it's very fascinating it is behind the scenes lives of the real people who were the kings and queens all through the centuries and it's really really fascinating if you just um, put into YouTube fit to rule you will find the different episodes so I've been enjoying that all right let's take a look at the inner border decision on the lemonade quilt. Yes, I tried a couple of them up there, auditioned them, and I think I have which one I'm gonna go with. So let's take a look. Oh, 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 before we do that, let me show you the sew sampler box, which I uh, took a look at the, uh, I filmed it the other day. So let me pop that in here. All right, this is a spoiler alert, just in case you did not get your April sew sampler box yet then skip ahead or close your eyes, plug your ears, turn off the sound. So let's take a look at what's inside. <laughs> I'm sure hope you got it by now. I think I've had mine a while. So here we go. So Sampler is a subscription box from the Fat Quarter Shop and it has all kinds of goodies and always a big nice coupon and a theme of sorts. So they always do this really pretty cover bee creator bees i love bees the pollinators so you are going to get oh it's a code for notions it's a great it's a great discount on notions to so pick up all those things like rotary cutter blades yes i would be talking to you uh so okay here we go that's just going to go over here because you can't see the code unless you're a subscriber they always give you this really nice little booklet that tells you everything that's in here. Oh, I don't want to peek too soon. There's always fabric and a pattern to use it. So what is our fabric this time? B plaids. Ah, we're going to open one of those. We'll open it after I look inside. So what else do we have in here? The pattern that goes with that is buzz. Oh, cute little bees. Look at that. It is 37 by 37, so that's a really nice size. It could be a little toddler quilt, you know, like a little children's quilt. It could be a table topper, a wall hanging. Yeah, and then you have to add a little bit of fabric to it for the, um, what is that one? The binding and then the background. So, and I give you both, you, you get two charm packs. So that's what goes in there. We'll look at the fabric then. So we've got some cruel or embroidery needles to try. These are great. I love having different needles to try because you just never know what's, what's going to work. All right, what do we have here from, whoops, from Clover. This is a water soluble marker fine point. Ah, so it'll, um, you could mark something that you need to align. Maybe you want to do a label and you want to write a line, do your drawing so it's like nice and even, then you can uh, get rid of the line. So that's pretty cool. Or some other things, you know, like applique or other kind of placements you want to have a line. And then what do we have? The Buckle Bee Pin Pennant. All right, let's open this up. It's got a nice little notch on there, easy to open. Oh, what's in here? <gasps> look how cool. Oh, look at that. <gasps> look how cool that is. So it is a little pit cushion inside of there, inside the honeycomb behind the bee. So that, let me see. Let me get a pin or 500 pins. Okay. 
So if you're wearing this, you can just stick a straight pin in there that you might be working with or your needle. So I don't have a needle up here at the moment, but ah, that is beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. So let's open this, open this package here and then just see what this fabric looks like for the B plaids. Okay, we'll come down here. Get in close. So I'm just going to scoot the fabric out some so we can take a look at it. Different plaids, I'm assuming. So it's by color, it looks like they put it in here by color. So a big plaid, some smaller, oh, I like that one. Looks like a old timey tablecloth. And then just a cross hatch. This must be a basics line or some sort of line by Lori Holt. Ah, oh, that is really pretty. Look at that. These are great. Look at the flower. Oh, I like that one. Another little tiny print. Look, oh, like that looks like a quilt in itself. Okay, and one more. There's like a sort of a basic sort of nice shirting plaid almost. So then it's got uh, the same or similar in orange. Oh, there's a different one with the flowers. Oh, that's different too. Oh, they're not all exactly the same. Then yellow, I think that one might be different. Uh, this looks w really different than it is in the red. Here, I think, is that the same? No, it isn't, that's a different one. That's why it looks different. Here's green, a lot of kinds. Oh, I love that flower, love it. Look how cool that is. Green, green, everything green. Then this is sort of a blue green. I wouldn't say it's quite teal. It's more like a blue green. So it's heavy, heavy to the green. Gray, oh, just one gray. Now this is like a darker teal. This one is more teal than the other. Oh, that looks cute. No teal, teal, teal. And there's one with the multicolor and more teal. Here we go, and navy. Ah, oh, I think this is my favorite. So all these you can get yardage too. So this is just a charm pack version, which is awesome for not only doing something with, but to have it for swatches so that if you need to uh, look for a border or to match in, you would have these. Some more gray. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm really in love with that one. Love that. Okay, one more. There we go. Gray. That is everything in here. So you have the pattern and you get the two charm packs and two charm packs if you don't want to do this pattern you can do oh there I'll show you this in a sec you can do the um, oh my stars which takes two charm packs so if this isn't floating your boat you want to have a little bit bigger quilt do these with uh, the star fabric and you will get a oh my stars out of it this has, ah, uh, th this is my favorite part. Well, the fabric is too, but ah, uh, this is so cool. And then you always get the um, card for the sew along. And uh, this kicks off uh, the next sew along for them. So the next 12, uh, maybe it's nine, nine samplers or 10, you get a block. And this time it's from Joanna Figueroa of Fig Tree is the designer. And so that's just free for the sampler box. All right, there you go be creative. I tried out several different bindings. I mean, sorry, several different inner borders. I had a white with a big dot like this, and I tried a smaller, um, you know, sort of, I showed you the blue earlier, like in the last video. I tried a smaller stripe, but I think this is the one you know, smaller stripe and peach, but they think this is the one I'm going to go with the wider stripe and peach. And then I will have, I have plenty of it that I can also have it for the binding. So this is it. This is the one that will go on there. Yes. Let me do a little mail call. I have from, uh, where we go. Okay. Reeve from, uh, Reeve in Colorado. So Reeve sent me Look at this sweet card. Everybody sends such lovely cards. And she had a couple of these little panels of critters. I just have to hold this up for you because they are so cute. Look at these little chickadees on the yellow. And look, look at this guy. What is he? He's like a little mouse. Yeah, and here's like a beautiful cardinal. We have lots of cardinals. Uh, so, so cute. Like, oh, there's a guinea pig. <laughs> 
<laughs> so she sent me two panels like this and then some selvages which have uh, some, some other cute fabric. Oh, here's some other cute fabric, some Paris type fabric and some word text. Oh, they're so nice, Reeve. Thank you. And some beautiful edges that have uh, sayings on them. So the sayings are so cool. I love that. And then I had from Laura in Ireland via California. Yes, yeah, Ireland via California. She's actually in California right now, getting ready to go back to Ireland and has been watching my videos. So she sent me a super sweet card, a little note, um, and then a Starbucks card. Mwah, thank you. And a box of Irish chocolates. Yum, Irish chocolates. I can't wait. They sound so good. <laughs> Gonna crack that baby open. Thank you mwah, mwah, to both of you. Uh, okay, so you are, oh, oh, before we finish, yes. So I'm taking uh, comments. You have to leave a comment over at my website to be considered. If you're a subscriber, then leave a comment uh, at my website. The link is below in the description box to tell me what you like about my videos. And one person who comments over there will receive this quilt. I'll find, we're going to have that open through Friday evening. So somebody then will receive the quilt. Okay. I'm going to celebrate for the Queen's silver, I mean, the Queen's rather platinum jubilee, 70 years as the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II. I mean, just amazing. Can you imagine working 70 years in the same job? <laughs> I think her job has changed a lot. <laughs> That's, I think, from when the beginning. She's had a lot of different things happen over 70 years. Okay, my friends, I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.